Hello everybody, it's Neil there here and welcome back to this next episode of this brand new City Skylines series. As always, I have a nice trusty cup of coffee here to get me going for this episode. So, in the last episode we got our power and the main central city set up. And today what we're going to look at doing is sorting out our central station. Uh, I wanted to tackle this uh, fairly early because in the last uh, last series I left it a bit late and it was kind of just sort of slotted in, into the city with not a, a, a whole great deal of, of planning. So you've noticed today it's going to be a lot more streamlined. We're, so with the first one there was only one in and out entrance and with this one there'll be two so just sort of lets trains flow in and out a lot better as well and then the other area that we're going to work on is um, kind of like a wharfside plaza sort of restaurant area that sort of pokes out from the into the lake which you would have seen me briefly do the, the foundations of um, in the last episode so we're just going to start with this time lapse uh, of the creation of the central station and I'm just sort of getting the highway ready, uh, making sure they're all raised bridges so that we can sort of dig underneath and not have the road um, block that progress as well. Got this really nice, very large uh, asset, this train asset, which is good. I think it's like uh, two, six or eight uh, rail connections as well. So that's going to be really handy for handling uh, a high volume of trains. Uh, in the last city I only had four so and that sort of did cause a few problems so were trains kind of backing up but this one should be a lot better um, in terms of managing that, that flow of traffic as well. Um, and here you can just see I'm sort of trying to make these all connect into each other into sort of two main lines and just trying to make it nice and smooth uh, with the move it tool and again just sort of doing the same on this side as well, we're just trying to get those pillars out of the way. And we're also looking at sort of extending the area around this central station so we can start placing buildings as well um, and possibly adding a second connection uh, to the highway because I did notice afterwards there was an increase in the traffic flow sort of around the main highway entrance. And here we're just sort of getting the parking sorted out. I've got my uh, parking decals placed uh, and just putting in the road to cars can sort of look like they're going through the actual car park. Now I do come back and actually adjust this a little bit because as you can probably see there's a lot of intersections with this type of design and it did cause uh, quite a big traffic issue um, that almost went all the way out to the main road so I will come back and, and change that and just make it a bit more um, efficient and the difference you'll see the difference almost immediately that it makes is, is really good so I was able to get that area sorted out pretty quickly with with, with minimal um, hassle uh, here you can see I'm just using that little decal trick that I did on the last episode just sort of trying to make these parks um, a lot more connected and I said it before in the last episode I think this just really makes areas like this look a lot nicer uh, rather than just sort of parks being straight onto the curb. So we're just connecting it up onto the main road here, getting a nice slip lane in and you'll notice that cars will start coming in pretty quickly as well and, um, and I sort of you see the build up of traffic uh, fairly quickly. Again just adding some more buildings trying to get the, um, the skyline finished. I mean it's pretty well finished at this point. I mean I'm really happy with how it looks. It's got a nice sort of tapering off of large buildings heading down to the smaller buildings as well um, with the use of Grobles and my aim is to sort of use the Grobles to get the legacy economy going and then as I expand and the economy sort of stabilizes I'll, I'll probably start replacing some of those buildings with more Rico buildings so I can actually go in and, and detail the areas around the building not have to worry about uh, buildings despawning and then my sort of details getting clipped into buildings or just being sort of messed up and, and not looking nor not suiting the actual building. So um, here I'm just making an overpass 
for pedestrians to come around. Um, this one was a little tricky. I had to sort of raise, use the actual raised bridges so that I could actually like move them down because um, unlike roads with with paths, you can't use the move tool to, to force them down unless they're actually raised bridges to start off with, and then it'll push the train down with it as well. And then I use these nice little, I guess like walkway pergolas a little later on and actually stick them using the prop snap right here I think is actually stick them on to the walkway so it looks like the walkway is actually covered with like a like a roof which looks really nice and I'm actually surprised you can't do that originally in the game they're just um, they're just sort of playing past with no coverings or anything so you'll see that coming up pretty soon I think it's after I just sort of sort out these details here here we go so these actually snap, snap really nicely and fit well on these paths as well and it just makes this walkway look a lot nicer as well and I'll probably I think I'll use this these a lot more um, around the city in fact I do do a second bridge that goes across to the other side so you will see uh, a second use of them there as well um, and again now we're just sort of finishing off this quay area um, getting it all set up for the buildings that will go behind it and getting it to the right height as well so I think this is where after I place these plants is you, you'll start to see the traffic issue building up I think I actually sort of sit there for a while and just watch the traffic because I couldn't I noticed that it was changing and it was getting quite quite busy uh, so that's when I decided to sort of tweak how it all works as well um, again, here we're just sort of putting in some nice banners, trying to make a bit more of a grander entrance for our central station just to make it look a little bit nicer and getting it ready for a taxi rank here as well and this taxi rank I also modify later on because you can see straight away what I've done there I've sort of put in too many um, intersections and I didn't think it would be such an issue because I didn't realise how much traffic would, would sort of build up so here we're coming back to this sort of square area that I, uh, sort of square wharf area that I did um, in the last episode which is where I sort of kind of glitched the, the keys into each other to make like a right angle because you can't actually make a right angle um, with the keys straight up. So and basically I used the, this sort of move tool to move them into each other and it does kind of mess up the train a little bit, you can't actually smooth it out because um, the terrain terraforming tool is kind of bounded by the rules of the, of the keys but the keys have kind of been those rules have been sort of changed a bit because I've used move tool so it can't quite smooth it out properly so the way I got around that was actually just using the buildings and paths to and then the move it tool to actually lift up the terrain because that was sort of the only way to actually change the terrain you know within that sort of area as well um, there was still a little bit of dips that I need to fix up which I'll probably do in the live section but you can see that as I sort of am making this area I'm sort of adjusting the, the height trying to make sure it's all nice and, and flat um, so I can use the sort of terrain tools in some areas but other areas like here I have to sort of use um, roads and paths to sort of lift it up to the right to the right height that I, um, that I need as well uh, more of the uh, asphalt there just to connect those parks up to the main road and now we're just doing some more of this pergola work just sort of using more of these to I guess uh, make more make this area look nicer and sort of make them look more attached to the buildings Kind of make it look like one big sort of center area as well and we'll probably put some restaurants like tables and chairs um, just to make this look a lot nicer as well I've got some nice lights that I want to use it's sort of they like so two lights or two poles that have like a, a light on like a like a rope or something that sort of hangs there which I think will be perfect for that area as well now we're just sort of still developing a bit more of this, the skyline, just a one or two buildings here and there. I'm um, not doing too much in that respect because like I said we're, we're very close to done on uh, the skyline 
Um, but I'm just trying to get out this sort of north part of the city around the central station, just sort of getting getting the roads laid out so that I can sort of plan out where where buildings and, and past, uh, parks are going to go. Um, and then we're just getting this the other side of the re tra re sorry the rail sorted out, ready for uh, our first stop, which I think I might be making this round or next episode. As you can see here, um, this is where the traffic built up, and I sort of modify these so they sort of loop back around themselves, and only have one one entrance instead of two. And um, you can see straight away that it starts to make a big difference. And as soon as I change that taxi one, um, the traffic build up it literally just disappears because there's a lot more space in between each. You can see there, like almost immediately, the traffic was much much better on that front as well um, and then we're just sort of just uh, detailing and sort of putting up this area uh, just because there is a lot of concrete and this area as well as the the sort of wharf uh, side restaurants is the areas I'm going to be working on in the live portion of this uh, episode so we can look forward to that as well and then I'm just sort of putting in the final touches with these quays again using that little um, uh, clipping technique to sort of make nice right angles with with the, the keys because I really don't like they're just really clunky in terms of how they handle um, corners and they just don't do a, a really good job which which is kind of annoying but there's that's sort of the workaround that I've been using to um, to sort that out and I mean having that sort of train dip a little bit is a small sort of price to pay for sort of those nice key uh, keys because you can again use buildings and and roads to sort of sort them out. A uh, few shots of the city here, just doing some detailing on the on the main sort of intersection. You can see I've added this is a nice white checkered lines uh, in the centre of the main uh, intersection. Now I, I don't know where they're from. I've seen them somewhere. Um, I don't know if it's New York or Japan, but they had that sort of cross hatch style. Um, I don't know if I've done it right or not, but. I think it looks really good and just sort of makes this main intersection look a lot nicer as well. And I end up upgrading some of those um, roads just to account for the increase in traffic flow. And then the final touch is just putting some nice banners uh, on each of the streetlights. Um, I actually go back and get rid of the ones in between the streetlights because when I look at in first person, there was sort of there was sort of too many. It looked too overcrowded, so you can see I'm just sort of backtracking and, and getting rid of those. Um, but this time that's just pretty much done. I think it's just a bit more uh, road work and some buildings and then um, after that we're going to head into the live section where we'll do some more detailing and um, maybe even place some more buildings. We'll see how we go. So I'll catch you in that section. Hey there everybody and uh, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the time lapse. Uh, just heading into uh, the live portion now. What I want to do is start um, detailing this nice sort of boardwalk area uh, that we've got going on the side of our lake. Uh, and what I'm going to start with is um, I saw these lights uh, and I figured these would probably work really well for a nice boardwalk area. Um, now I may end up getting rid of the lights on the actual wood wooden boardwalks here in, in sort of replacement for this but I want to start with these I think a really cool thing to do with that would be to have these coming out from this actual building here so have like a couple of sets one there and then one sort of coming out from here although that's going to be a bit tricky so I have to use the mover tool if I just put that one down there for now and we'll do the same for this one so maybe if we had this coming uh, to there and then we'll do the same with a couple just across here so one there and then we'll have uh, one last one along here and then I'll just come back and use the uh, the movie tool to put this one into into position um, let's bring it out to here and I'll see if I can move it down just a little bit 
two about there is perfect and then I'm going to do the same with this one just so they're not going into uh, actually it's not going to move but this one will be fine there um, so we've got those lights sorted out and I want some I think planters will work well so basically I have a couple of planters uh, along here uh, maybe even some trees as well not the grass ones so I think I kind of want these big ones here will sort of suit this area a lot better so let's try and put one there one there spaces out reasonably equal and um, let's have one there and I think I'll see if I can just move this one down into the ground just like actually let's have this relatively low if we can I think the move tool is going to allow us to do that so there's so a nice little nice low sitting um, planters there and then if we can get some seats just to put alongside here yeah, that sort of overlook the uh, the lake across there so just wait for that one to find it uh, let's put these benches here actually oops so um, let's just put it there for now and I'm probably going to need to use the move tool to move this across so I think if that one goes to there and then that should be fine and we just sort of stick these across like so bring this one up and that one down to there perfect and um, do I want to put one on each side no I'll leave it like that for now um, and I'm just wondering maybe even if you put some just some walls between some of them just to add a bit more uh, cause it just feels almost too open so if we get some nice uh, brick walls maybe this color and I don't know how well this is gonna work though so if we turn fence tool on, put the prop panel here on, and it kind of works. But if we maybe start it from here, hmm, it might be easier to do this manually, I think, because oops, shift. I'm just having a bit of trouble with the first person view. Um, so if we do this here and just line this one up to there, stick that one there, and then hopefully with the move it tool we can just good we can move this one up to there and then just kind of copy these across like so. on there and this will still add a lot more detail to our our area um, let's turn this one around and make it face the other way and that can go in like that and then if we copy these two it should hopefully be similar space or similar distance apart but that's not quite the case what we can do is we can just move the planter over if we need to so let's grab this one I'll just drag these across there like so um, and I think we should put something in the middle so maybe maybe a round planter can go in the middle there just to close that gap uh, so probably just this one here so I stick him there and we just bring it down to uh, similar height I think that's good um, just needs to go up a little bit more to stop the clipping issue like that and then we'll just copy this one 
put him into there and there we go perfect so that looks a lot nice and we even got like a nice little step up here which um, was not intended but I kind of like it a bit so I actually think I'll do this just move this up slightly so we get that little step up that's not the one I want that was the um, let's move that out of the way for now and then grab this one now we've got like a little step down which is a nice little addition to this area okay so let's get some trees into this one now um, I always made that mistake with the tree icon there ever since they changed it and so let's get uh, I think shady bush is going to work well um, Oh, shady tree, sorry. So let's go to uh, where is it? I'm gonna keep going past it. It's got to be that one, okay. And um, let's stick one here and then let's put one over there, and then we'll grab the other side and one there and yeah one there I'm just trying to think whether I don't want too many trees in this area because those planters are actually quite small uh, and then maybe we can stick one of these in something small in these round ones maybe just the actual tree although I don't know if you can lift them up once you place them so let's put that one in. Actually, let's see if we can actually like lift these up off the ground. So I'd be curious to see. No, you can't. It just sort of glitches out. We can leave it blank for now. That's fine. Like a little bit of dirt. Um, it looks quite nice as well. Now I wonder if I should put um, maybe a wall that we've got that we've used here. I think. So let's grab uh, this one and we should be able to copy it onto this part here. So if we put that there. Alright, so there's that uh, wall done and it works out pretty nice. I quite like how that is. A uh, nice barrier to stop people from falling over the edge. Um, now I want to detail this area and put like some tables and chairs here to make like a nice sort of uh, cafe is what I'm after so um, let's uh, find a table to put here and we use uh, let's use these ones and I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put it so maybe to have one here and then we'll sort of stick one underneath there make it look like there's more in there and then we'll put a couple I think a couple here as well like that and then I will get uh, a wall I've actually got a glass wall that would look good if I can find it I'll actually search it now and we use that just to just to cordon this area off uh, so this is what I want uh, that one uh, and then I need to figure out the distance is what it's going to be so I think that's good and then we'll just sort of run this along here to about there and let's make it stop there and start again from here so there's a little entrance and then Let's go from there straight into the building. It's going to be good. There we are, and then maybe even get some um, get some decals, some nice paving, pavement stuff uh, to just separate that area off from the rest of the. Um, so let's try. Uh, let's do the cobblestone. Um, and we just stick one here and there 
like so. And it's gonna sort of clip and overlap a bit. But from afar it should look um it should look quite nice. Let's put that there. There we are. That looks a lot nicer as well. Um I don't know if I've got any thinking like some pot plants along here will work will be quite nice just to finish that area off. So let's go find some of those. Um Let's get these ones. Let's stick a couple along here. And maybe two of the actually let's get two um let's get two of these at the entrance, so there's like one here and one there. Just to neaten that off as well. Um and then what else do I want to do? I probably do need to stick more of these over here, so let's grab. Um, it'd be hard to grab them, they're small. That's right, we'll go back and, and just place some more planters. So I'll put like another one here just to finish that off. And so we'll stick this one. Just there, and then I think that's good. Maybe just have one on the corner here, or maybe so got one on each corner, like that. And oops, I'm gonna stick one just here for now. And just bring them down into the ground a bit more. I know it's looking pretty. It's looking pretty good. Like with all those details there, I'll have to go and do some stuff in the back as well. Um, probably put something here, like seats and things like that. Um, Alrighty. So <clears throat> now we're gonna come back over to the central station and just kind of detail this up a little bit. Uh, make this area look a little bit nice. I'm gonna start off with uh, this area here, which I actually upgraded um, the road to a three-lane road and force the traffic into this centre lane and what I'm going to basically do, do is make it look like a sort of um, like a drop off uh, point for people to drop off people that are obviously catching the train so I want to find a small line decal to make these dotted lines a little bit closer together um, uh, let me just try and find one that I'm after here. Uh, maybe this one. Yeah, okay, we can use something like this, might work. Uh, well, at least we'll see how it goes. So let's just put that one there. Uh, actually, while I'm here, we'll get rid of that bush. Another one there. I'm just going to basically fill these in. Um, like so. There we go. And then I might use the um the yellow lines to section off like little parts where you would stop. Uh, so something like yeah, maybe one there. Another one here, so it kind of looks like where you would drop someone off and have the um, the markings to show you where. So maybe one here, and last one there as well. And then I need to go back to our. We we'll use actually not that one; it's a bit too long. Use our short line tools and just sort of make these lanes kind of. Bit more obvious as to where they transition to. Now it looks better, so basically shows that you can sort of merge into that lane. And then if we get a longer one, uh, we'll just put this one kind of 
here-ish. Uh, I think that was my phone. I'm running out of batteries. Um, get this short line here and just kind of fix that one up to there and that looks where you can see the traffic is now as well and, and I'll do the same on the other side but what I want to do is uh, grab a dispense tool that I've got that I want to use yeah so like this red one I think we can use to uh, create a nice uh, area for or a way of stopping people uh, crossing the road in sort of undesired areas uh, and that's good um, so I'm going to put one along here and across to yeah probably just to there actually no let's bring it in a bit more make it a bit more centered so like that and probably do the same on most of these I think so from there across to the other side um, that's quite tricky so I think that's pretty pretty good uh, and then we'll do the same on this one so about there and just need to bring that one in a little bit so there as well uh, and I want the same thing on this side because we don't really want people kind of crossing here as well so let's grab this one from there uh, let's bring it in a bit all the way across to that one there and then we can do the same on this side here um, I don't know. There's no way to actually s stop it, so I'll just sort of bring it to here for now. And if we put something here later, we can we can adjust the the length of that one. Um, might even put the same on the other side, maybe. I suppose it would make sense to, to do that. So let's just grab this one here. And come back over here and do the same thing. Oops. Just kind of bring this one over to there. And that'll fit nicely next to the parking meter, I think it is. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, so I think we'll come over to here. And so I want to put I want to put some trees here, but I do want to put like a like a little um I guess maintenance area so I want to find like some electricity boxes um, I guess dumpsters would make sense to have here so let's put a couple here um, move some air conditioning units I think it looked nice so there might be like an underground section here. So let's put this there and I'm gonna find something that looks like a like electricity box or something to that to that effect. Um, it's probably in this one here, I think. But I just gotta find it. Um, I just had to search search box to find that one. Here we are, electricity box, that's what I wanted. Uh, so where can we place this? We can place one. Let's just place a couple here. Uh, and I'll put some I'll be putting some fen uh, some walls behind these as well. So I might just do that now, get some some concrete walls and just uh, stick them behind there. I think the bunker walls could could work. Um, so the corner is going to be there and then we'll just sort of bring this around to that one there and then oops so this one 
here and then straight down to um, to that one there and then you can get the the pillar to sort of mark, cap off those corners put one there and there and there and then we use the fence to section the rest off so that one the concrete column so let's just put that one there um, and stick that one there and then one here as well and we'll fill this in with just just a ruin texture here um, something like that and then fence this area off uh, and maybe put like a service vehicle um, like with an open gate as well so actually that could work that's sort of it's interesting so let's stick that one there and maybe use the ruin texture to sort of uh, not that one uh, this one just to sort of get rid of some of the glass spots and just to add a bit more texture and variation to that area as well and then we'll just grab some some nice pines to finish that area off so um, okay so just fix that up and added those trees and just add a nice little car to that area um, what I want to do next this area is a little bit bare I kind of want to add like another another tree here just to make it look a bit interesting I am sort of running out of time for this episode I don't want it to go for too long and I do want to actually make a second a second um, entrance from the highway because I think if we can see it here there's a lot of cars coming here but they're only losing lo using the left lane and because they're trying to get to here and basically came up here so I want to make like a, another connection that sort of connects directly up to uh, the central station so I'm going to quickly finish off some of these details and then I want to try and fix that before we finish so that uh, that's all sorted out for the next episode so let's just pop that plant here um, And what else can I add? I could um, maybe if we add some bushes along this green area, I think just here, some nice colorful bushes. If so, let's get the orange ones and let's push out the spacing by I think maybe three is a good amount, and we just sort of run this straight down the middle. To there and the same with this one and they fit pretty much perfectly on that one as well just to give something a bit nicer um, I kind of want to get rid of these lampposts because they kind of seem a bit awkward in the way so let's just put this to dirt for now come back here and get rid of no street light um, but we will have to replace the concrete here because I use that to mask some of the um, gaps that the, the paths make so if we just sort of grab this one and that should fix up that problem there and I'll just fix all these little gaps that we got rid of and then we can put some some nice uh, more appropriate lamps there we go and then there's probably like there's still a lot that I could do but it just I really am just gonna run out of time um, I could definitely do some stuff here um, oh, I just was gonna do actually let's, I want it because it's gonna be like the bus lane so let's make uh, find a bus shelter I don't have any buses yet so that's another thing I want to do next episode is get my my transit system up and running um, and I might, and I don't know if the, the new DLC would be ready by then. You would have seen it announced uh, a couple.
couple of days ago. Uh, so here's what I want, and let's put our bus shelter here. And then what? What bench is it using? It's using uh, as part of the asset, but we'll get our own benches. I think those nice grey ones will be perfect for this. And then just stick a couple the other side. Let's put one there. And maybe two here, and then can we get like a sign or something, or like a timetable that we could stick there? Um, bus stop large. Let's do, where's this one? Bus only. We need that one actually because this is just a bus only only lane. So let's stick this one here uh, and find. Uh, it's an actual sign, so we still need that. So let's stick that one there. And see if we've got this one, but I don't know if that kind of really makes sense to add there. Now we have a bit of a pedestrian crossing there. Um, and that is starting to look not too bad. It's still a little bare. I think I need to put some more, some more details in, maybe some more trees. But uh, like I said, I'm sort of running out of time. Um, well, maybe we can come back to it and maybe I can sort of do a bit more in, in the next time that so that's just about going to do it for this episode uh, I hope you enjoyed watching it uh, I'm just going to leave you now with some shots of parts of the city that I have been detailing off camera or that you might not have seen much in the time lapse uh, so thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next episode